Hey, Tubies! It's Psychic Bob! Woo! And here we are. It's Tuesday! And you know what that means? <sighs> Time for messages from the spirit world. We've had a lot of new subscribers last week. And for those of you who are new, every Tuesday we gather and I do little mini psychic readings for everybody who writes in. Now it's free to be on messages from the spirit world. You can just put your question in the comment box below. Or if you want, you can also write me a private email at my email, which is readings at robert-hickman.com. I'll put that link in the info box below. So either way, send me letters. Guys, just so you know, I do get hundreds of letters, but we get through as many as we can. So be patient with Psychic Bob. Uh, you know, for those of you who are new here, I am a full-time professional psychic. That's right, I have my own practice, and I do readings 40 hours a week every day, seven days a week, well, six days. I usually take Monday off. Uh, but I'd sure love to, to get you on my schedule for private readings. So uh, if you want to learn about my private readings, also go over to my website at robert dashikman Com. Again, the link to my website will be in the box below. And while you're over there, you can pick up some books. You know, I have a number of books out. I've um, got Messages from Rose, which is about my work as a medium. We've got uh, Psyche Bob's Book of Wick and Wisdom. And I have a few others over there as well, some magical books. So definitely pop over to my website and check those out. Well, you guys are the best. I want to say thank you. Um, thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. We had horoscopes and if you didn't see that check that out that's been a very popular video every Monday I put out horoscopes for all 12 zodiac signs you won't get these anywhere else they are unique to spirit channels so definitely check those out after you see this video if you haven't done so okay anyways here I am you know what, guys I'm outside Washington DC some of you are new have written said where are you Bob well, I live in Alexandria Virginia I'm literally five minutes outside the nation's capital and I tell you, for those of you who haven't been here in the summer, it is like subtropical. In fact, today, how you like what I'm wearing? I got on my wild Hatman dashiki shirt. Isn't this fun? Look, it's got little gold threads woven in it. Isn't that neat? Kind of sparkly. <laughs> well, anyways, here we are, and it's time for messages from the spirit world. But before we get into all that, let's just all take a moment. Let's center ourselves. Wherever you are, just settle down. I want you to close your eyes. Take some breaths and just attune to the spirit world. Okay, there we go. Isn't that wonderful? Well, you know my spirit guide, Fletcher, is back here. He's always on my left ear. And back here I hear him talking. He says hello. Well, let's jump into our letters here. Okay, our first letter today is from Deborah Woods. Hello, Deborah. Deborah writes, hi, Bob. Uh, should I stay with my current job? Not sure what to do. Thank you and God bless. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. You know, hon, I have to tell you, I'm getting a lot of stagnation uh, around your current work. I feel that the company is going through kind of a reevaluation. They may do a reorg soon, a reorganization. Um, in terms of your job, I feel you'll be safe. I don't see you being cut. But I have to tell you, I'm getting a vibration of internal strife and just kind of a lot of, not a lot of motivation from the management to look out for the workers. And so I feel like energetically, um, it's time for you to move on. And I feel like around September, um, there's a lot of energy here for a shift in work for you. So I would say, uh, you know, you, you don't have to up and leave. You're not going to be fired. But I feel like by September, you're really saying, you know what? I'm really glad I got out of there. So I think you want to start putting out some resumes and be open to some transition, okay? But I see September as a turning point for you. Um, you have a lot of blue light and orange around you. This means you have a lot of creative energy and you're an excellent communicator. I feel like those skills aren't being as used as strongly as they could be in this current job. So I want you to look for a job that allows you more creativity and a lot more kind of self-expression, okay? And I see you going on and doing very well for so from September forward that's the transition time for you okay thank you for writing hope that helps blessings to you all right our next letter is from New York City Blonde hi New York City Blonde she writes dear Bob the past few years spirit is blocking my money flow can you please look into what is going on 
After three evictions and four frozen bank accounts, I feel the only way out is suicide. How can I step? How can I stop this terrible process? Oh, hon, listen, I I feel for you. I have been in this in my past in a very dark place with the money. But let me tell you, okay? No amount of money, loss of money, or struggle is worth a suicide. I mean, the material world, let me let me just kind of put this in perspective. The material world is a temporary place. You know, all my guides have always said it's a classroom. Don't get too hung up. Just do what you can and keep going. Uh, and in your case, you know, what I feel is happening here is I feel that the spirit world is saying to you, pay attention to your life. Sometimes what happens is they let us go through these crazy, insane situations. And I know you're saying, what? It's not that spirit is sadistic. They're trying to get us to awaken. And I feel like around you, part of what they're trying to say is look at your life. Look at the people in your life and look how you're handling your life. And so when we hit these major financial blocks where we feel like we're losing everything, we're about to lose it, sometimes this is a sign from spirit that we need to make a major move in our life. Um, in your case, I feel like this may literally be a, a physical location move. I keep being drawn to, to south. Like I'm going down here towards like Florida for some reason. I don't know if you have a Florida connection, but it's almost like spirit wants to pull you down into Florida. And it's like from Florida, it's like you start to live again. So I would like you to be open to a transition to a move this year. I feel like geographically, you're ready for a change. And it doesn't seem like where you are, I'm picking up a lot of energy for growth there. So, you know, the universe sometimes shuts everything down as a way of saying, it's time to move on. And I feel in your case, you know, you've, you've had some people around you as well that have been, well, how do I say it? Uh, challenging people have taken advantage of your kindness and also been a financial drain on you. And I think it's time to break bonds with people that are always taking from you. Because I just feel like it's like you give and give and God bless you. You have a good heart. I can tell your vibration, you know. And the spirit world knows who the good people are. But, you know, the spirit world also says we have to do our chart. We have to learn our lessons and go forward. And I feel like around you, you know, if you would consider a move out of your current location, I feel like this will open up a whole new energy cycle for you. Uh, they keep showing me you run in about four year energy cycles. And I feel like this last four years has been kind of pretty much a lot of struggle. I feel like, you know, as we get towards the end of this year, around October, November, this starts a whole new energy cycle for you. So I feel like as we go towards the fall, you might want to be open to some transition. And I feel the energy will be stronger around that time for you. Um, please don't commit suicide, okay? This is not the answer. Because, you know, if you commit suicide, two things will happen. One, you'll go straight to the darkest place of purgatory where there's a lot of loneliness and suffering. Uh, or you'll be reincarnated and you'll have to go through everything you've gone through again. You see, they don't let us out easy, okay? And I know it's hell and you're thinking, God, this is hell. Uh, but believe me, it could be a lot worse if you if you commit suicide. So I beg you not to do that, please. Um, I keep picking up a green light around you, which tells me that there's healing power around you. I feel that you're being physically strengthened. And I also see you having spiritual gifts of healing. And I feel that if you would consider exploring your healing spirit gifts, this will open up a new career option for you as well. And I think that it's time for you to be done with the corporate world. I think you're going to do much better working on your own. And I really could see you working in like doing healing work, like massage therapy or Reiki work or stuff of this nature, working with crystals. I think you have a healer. I think there's more power there for you. And I think it'll bring a lot of joy and a major life transition. Okay. So anyways, I hope that gives you a little insight and a little help. Keep me posted, will you please? Okay. God bless you. Please don't do anything crazy. All right. You call me. All right. Now let's see here. Um, our next letter is Maria Zarate. Hi, Maria. Maria is a longtime viewer here. 
And she writes, she says, Hi, Psyche Bob, can you tell me how I can get my third eye open and who is my spirit guide? Thank you. Hi, Maria. Well, you know, actually, you have a lot of spirit people around you. Um, I keep picking up um, an angel around you. It's Archangel Uriel. He's one of your protecting spirits and a guardian. And he's helping you have greater balance in your life. Because they show me this last year, you've been feeling a little strained, a little pulled. Uriel is your guy. You want to ask him, talk to him, okay? Um, in terms of your third eye opening, one of the things that I think is very good is to really focus on, if you want to open third eye, is, and this may sound a little funny, but don't start with the third eye. People say, well, why not? What you want to do is think about inside of the body, there are seven chakras. And you can look this up. I want you to look up the seven chakras. And they start at the base of the spine. There's seven psychic energy centers that run from the base of the spine to the top of the head. Each one of them is a different color. And as you go through each chakra, it raises power for the next chakra. So I would say start at the base chakra, which is a red colored chakra and let that power glow and rise, and then it will move up into the pelvic bone, which is the sacral chakra. This is orange. And then the power rises up into the solar plexus, the stomach area, which is a yellow chakra, on up into the heart, which is a green chakra, up into the throat, which is a light blue, and then you'll get the third eye, which is a deep indigo blue. If you approach the third eye through opening the other chakras, it gives more power to the third eye chakra. And that will really help it get open. And then let that power also go up to the crown chakra, which is usually white or purple. I see it as purple, but it can have white too. And then practice moving the energy up and down through that. This will strengthen, one, all of your chakras and give you generally overall psychic power. It will definitely open your third eye. And what you'll discover is that you also are getting power um, and psychic gifts that come in different ways. Because, like, for example, not only can you open your third eye, I pick up around you empathic ability. I feel you have a bit of an empath, and I feel that this will help you be more grounded and connected to that energy as well, okay? But Archangel Uriel is the one I want you to call on right now. He's really working with you. And uh, I do see you really making advancement in your spiritual life, okay? So anyways, get a book on chakras, okay? Let me know. It's spelled C-H-A-K-R-A-S. Some people pronounce it as chakra, and some people say chakra. Either way, okay? C-H-A-K-R-A-S, chakras. Thank you for writing. Hope that helps. Blessings to you. All right, our next letter is from Deborah Taylor 14. Hello, Deborah. Deborah writes, Hi, Bob. Um, I have a new pet. I feel like we are more connected than any other pet I have ever had. Isn't that nice? Okay. Um, do you have any insight on this? Thank you. I love your videos, Deborah. Hi, Deborah. You know, this is a wonderful question because um, animals are actually part of our soul group, part of our soul contract. See, before we're born, we live in the spirit world and we have our angels and guides who help us prepare for our earthly life. And many times we, we build our, our soul groups there and animals, believe it or not, are allowed to be part of our soul group. And in terms for your pet, I feel like this pet around you is part of your soul group. And in a sense, and what that means is you actually knew them in the spirit world before you were born here. Okay? So they're part of your life. And really, it's like when you connected with them, it was almost like, I know you, right? Okay, you probably had that experience like, wow, I'm drawing this animal, this animal's drawn to me. It's because there's a mutual knowing. That animal also remembers on a deep level that it chose to be with you before it even entered your life. And so you have a knowing that's going on. It comes from, from the pre-life. Um, and that that's accounts for that. Uh, you know, animals also are very psychic. And I do pick up around you a lot of purple light, which tells me that you are opening psychically. And I feel like your little pet is also helping that process. So what you want to do is when you sit down, you can even bring your little 
you know, pet you to sit with you next to you while you meditate. I take cats especially are very psychic. I pick up a lot of cat energy around you. So I feel like this pet may well be a cat is what I keep seeing. A little ears perking up. And, you know, just uh, notice whenever you do spiritual work, they'll come around. And that's a sign of their connection to the spirit world. Okay. But yes, you and your pet do have a soul connection. Uh, they are part of your soul group. Okay. Hope that helps. Thanks for writing. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Second Bob's losing his voice here. I got a nice cool iced tea today. Mm, I love it. All right. Our next letter is from Darlene Weinbrenner. Hello, Darlene. Good to see you, Darlene. And Darlene writes, she says, Dear Bob, can you tell me uh, what jobs you see for my daughter and son in the near future? And what do you see for me? Will I be moving? I can't thank you enough. Love your wonderful spirit, Darlene. Hi, darling. That's so nice. Well, you know, I have to tell you, when I step into the frequency here um, of your whole family, good thing is all of you have a lot of yellow light and silver. This means that all of you are in a place of opening your minds to new beginnings, and this new, oh, this opening brings financial blessing and prosperity. Um, around your daughter, I keep seeing work here that has a very creative element to it. I feel that, you know, she has a little bit of an artist in her soul, and I would like her to look towards something that's connected to media work, whether it's public relations or advertising work or like our advertising design, media, marketing, things where she's much more creative. This is what I see around her. Uh, I feel that she'd do very well. I feel like in the future she'll have her own business as well, but I want her to explore like something that's creative marketing media marketing like helping people get their websites running um you know promotions public relations this is where i see her doing very well okay um now as for your son it's interesting when i step into him i get around him a lot of yellow light as well this tells me he's open to learning and new beginnings as well and when i go into his frequency here i also pick up a lot of creative energy around him as well and i keep seeing your son here literally building a business i feel that he has a real talent for, for something with computers. Um, I feel like he's very good with his hands, like he could build computers or redesign technical things. He has kind of a, like an engineering energy, might be good at drafting design. So I wanna encourage him to explore technical things, particularly where he's involved in development and creation. This is what I see around him. And I feel that he would be able to get into that field. He may need to do some schooling because he has a lot of yellow, which tells me that he's taking on new learning. He's open to new skills. So he may do some schooling before that, but I do feel like he'd do very well in something like computer design, computer engineering, technical stuff like that. Okay. Um, in terms for you, you know, I have to tell you, you've got a lot of yellow and silver around you as well. This tells me that you're ready for a new start. And, you know, in terms of a move for you, I do want you to be open to that. I keep feeling like it won't be until like next year, but the early springtime, I feel like there's going to be some move opportunities come in around you here. And uh, you could go before that, but I kind of feel like don't rush it. It's happening in a natural state. And I think by the time we get into the new year, around February, March, that energy will really be much clearer around you. And what's interesting is I keep feeling as if spirit wants to move you. Um, it's strange. I keep seeing a condo around you, like, like you're downgrading from a house to a smaller little place like a condo. And I don't think that would be a bad option for you. Uh, you know, so I, but I see you, you and your family being closer. So I don't know if they're moving with you or like you're moving closer to them, but I'm getting like you all still being very close and very in touch. They keep drawing me to the state of Florida as well for you. So there may be some connection around Florida. Uh, so I'm just going to put that out there. Okay. Uh, anyways, looks very good for you. I do see more prosperity and I feel like if you do a move, you'll come out ahead financially as well. Okay, hope that helps. Blessings to you. 
Oh my gosh, guys. Well, listen, that is all the time I got for letters today. You guys rock. I love you. Keep it here at Spirit Channel. We got more coming. Tomorrow is Wicked Wednesday. and You don't want to miss that. Make sure to be here. We're going to talk about protection magic tomorrow. I'm going to teach you some techniques to do magic for your protection and raise your power wherever you are where you don't even have to have any tools with you, okay? So make sure to be here tomorrow for that. I love you guys. Mm, sending you my blessings. Keep it here at Spirit Channel. By the way, make sure to go over and see my video yes, from yesterday for horoscopes if you haven't. And, uh, you know, pass that on to people as well. So if you like this, like this, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We would love you to be here. Well, guys, we'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, may you... Blessed be.